Hi, my name is Matt Rosenthal, CEO of Mindcore Technologies. I want to talk with you today about something that everybody, I think, can relate to. If you ask yourself, when you get an email, do you hear a tone in that email? What's the answer to that question? Do you think that emails have a tone, a tonality? Do you hear um, the person speaking? And the answer actually is yes. Every single email has a tone. However, the thing is, the tone that you hear, what you're hearing, it's not coming from the person that wrote the email. Where's it coming from? It's coming from you. Ask yourself when you're reading an email, what conversation did you maybe just come from? What meeting did you just come from? What mindset are you in? That's really the key. The mindset that you're in, the frame of mind that you're in when you read that email, oftentimes dictates the tone of that email. Let me just be clear. This isn't something that I'm, I'm making up or that's my opinion. Uh, I was fortunate enough to, to come across this topic and um, it's something that I read. It was a research paper and I did a little more research on it because I find the topic interesting because I frequently find myself reading an email and I think somebody's, they could be yelling at me or I think that they're upset or, um, and, and so you might respond. I might respond to that email assuming that what I'm thinking is actually what, was, what, what the person was thinking when they wrote it, the reality is it's never the case. You don't know what somebody else is thinking when they write an email or when they send you a text. Um, even if I tend to write in all caps, right? Apparently all caps means you're yelling. I write in all caps because I have a hard time seeing. So when I write in all caps, I find it easier to actually see what I'm writing and, and there's no other reason behind that. I've stopped doing it because I've had people tell me or respond to me, why are you yelling at me? To which I'll pick up the phone and say, I'm not yelling at you. I just write in all caps. I happen to like it that way. So when you're writing an email, just remember, you, you, you could definitely be aware of the fact that people do take tonality from an email. But more importantly, it's about you as the, as the reader of an email or a text message. Um, be careful not to put a filter on what you're reading and think that you know what the person was thinking. If you do feel like something like that is creeping up on you, just pause and ask yourself, well, why am I thinking that? Why is it that I think that they're, they're coming across in a certain way? And then here's what you should do. Don't answer the email. Just leave it there for an hour or two. Go back to it. Or what I oftentimes do, if I think it's a, more of a, a negative type of email, I'll write my response and then I won't send it for a day. There's no urgency. There's no reason I have to send an email right away. You don't have to get back to somebody the second they send you an email. I save it as a draft. I go back the next day and I read it. And you know what I do with it? I delete it. Because I realized that I was responding to them from a mindset that when I look at it now a day later, it's, I wouldn't, why would I have sent that email? And if I did, it would have created a whole other set of conversations and issues. So don't read tonality in somebody's emails. Um, put that aside, that's coming from you. It's 100% coming from you. So yes, every email has tonality. Every email has tonality because you as the reader, you put that tonality on the email and um, you don't have to do that. And just be aware and be careful about what could happen by responding to an email when you think you're reading it a certain way. Um, it's super valuable. Uh, when I stumbled on this, I was like, wow, I do it all the time. I think that if you just take this um, and kind of think about it a little bit, I think you'll see that it's actually true. And you might find that you're having less confrontational conversations. You might find that conversations are, are, are having more productive, positive outcomes. Uh, you might find that you are, um, your feelings as you're reading emails are, are sort of less um, fight or flight, less, less amplified, less responsive. Um, just remember, it's, it's, it's a mirror type of thing. You know, if, if you speak to somebody in a certain way and then they speak back to you and, it, and let's say it could be a nasty way, don't look at them and ask why are they being nasty. Look at yourself and say, wait, what, what is it that I just did or said that created the interaction to begin with? It's the same idea. So hope this video is helpful. Hope that you have some awareness now of tonality in emails, where it starts, and how important it is to not let that dictate your response and create a whole set of issues. Really important topic. Please like it, please share it, please make a comment, and we'll speak to you again real soon, thanks.